Hey, we all live in the age of technology, and it's always great that we can trust people in their living experience and ask them, what should we do in our dark hours? But what if we had some sort of manual for our lives? It's always better to read an instruction on how to hang a picture before hammering a nail into your finger. WikiHow is considered to be a platform that we may call this manual. Or at least we can try. Loneliness is always hard to bear. And I'm glad that we can find instruction on how to find a partner. How to get an 11-year-old girl to like you. Let's just leave all the instructions for kids. But not everyone will follow my advice, I'm afraid. I told a girl I liked her and she slapped my face. Help? Well, at least self-defending is always a good choice. But who is dating a flying now? Our entire social life has been replaced by social networks and technology. We are not prehistoric people who needed this life communications. Therefore, in the current realities, it is important to know how to flirt in text. How to flirt with a girl over the text. Don't be boring and predictable. Yeah, guys, no more of this. Hey, how are you? How's your day? You got to be unique. Pay her a compliment. Try, for example, wow, love your hair today, you look so gorgeous. Try a classic yet effective compliment. Yes, you shouldn't be predictable, yet try some classic stuff. There is a big difference between these two. Who said that flirting is easier than rocket science? Be mysterious. Huh? There is no harm in being somewhat mysterious in your text messages. You want her to feel like she's chasing you, not the other way around. So try being a little vague or aloof at times, just not as much so she gets suspicious in your behavior. If there is nothing left to do, you can try it. A bit of mystery never harms. Girl should never be sure if you wipe. How to use a bidet? Yeah guys, that's it. Mounting the bidet. Use the toilet first. If the step exists, just imagine how many good bidets we've lost. Find the bidet. I guess as we have located it, we can move to the next step. Wash your hands. I thought you had already washed your hands in it. Back to the flirting. Now when she's interested, we need to check if she likes you. You can ask her directly, but who need those words if you can just overthink? Deeply rereading everything she texts is much more interesting. The top emojis a girl will use if she likes you. She's sending you a flirty vibe. A standard winking face with one closed eye and a smile tends to be flirtier than the funny winking face with its tongue out. A winking face that has a stuck out tongue could signal she's just being silly. Respond by keeping the conversation light and playful. Our articles are becoming more and more serious. Now we will always use scientific research, carefully analyzing every emoji. But are you sure the person that sends you this would analyze it as deeply as you? When you get a laughing emoji from a girl, it means that she's amused and having a good time chatting with you. But be careful, if she uses these emojis, you may find out that she's much older than you think. This one's a classic romantic gesture in emoji form. When you get a rose emoji, consider it is the virtual equivalent of receiving a flower in real life. If your girlfriend asks you to buy her flowers, don't waste your money. Who need these prehistoric plants? Come on. But really? Rose? Better send a TikTok with a monkey scratching its butt saying, oh my god, that's you. But now let's talk about something opposite. How to deal with a guy who thinks you like him. We are getting deeper and deeper. Ignore him if necessary. Because ghosting is the best method, ain't it? Don't show sadness in front of him. Are you sure that you need to keep in touch with them in this case? Avoid bad-mouthing him. Mm, okay... Accept that you can't be attracted to everyone. Don't worry if your friends think that he's cute or sweet. Just go to the previous step if it's needed. Take deep breaths. Yeah, breathing is cool. Comment if you like oxygen. Now when she loves you, time to make a move. How to turn a girl on. Just use your hands. Clean yourself up. Shower, put on deodorant, brush your teeth and wear clean clothes. If you're not used to bathing, then you need this article. How to remove suckers huh? from a cucumber. But if you failed at this point, then you should try how to hypnotize someone. Find someone who wants to be hypnotized. Well, if you failed, that's only your fault. Now I will try to hypnotize you. Tell me in the comments if it worked. Let my words wash over you and take the suggestions as you desire them. 
You are in complete control of this time. You will only accept those suggestions which are for your benefit and that you are willing to accept. Hit the subscribe button and like this video or I will Did it work? Are you alive? How to seduce a man? At least here we have nothing about taking a shower. Surprisingly enough, we have use a pomegranate. If you're interested in seducing a man, try offering him a cocktail using pomegranate juice. If he doesn't drink, offer him plain pomegranate juice as a beverage. Okay, I guess. Didn't know pomegranates could do those things. Maybe you need a prescription for a naughty pomegranate. Get a haircut. But don't try to seduce men too often, or you will become bold at some point. At least these articles can make us enjoy our lives. How to enjoy being a teenager? Setting realistic expectations. Avoid media-based expectations. Sadly enough, we need to teach teenagers not to expect beautiful Netflix-like life with parties and having a car at 16 years old when they grow up around this. Polsko, ja wiem, że tutaj jesteście. Nie trzeba płakać. Kiss your babcha and let's try to deal with this life. In this case, we need to find our sense of humor. But how to do that? Joke about skiing, pretend that you're a pirate, be a ginger and show off your new deodorant. I hope I got everything right. But if not, how to perform astral projection. I had a sleeping paralysis when I was a teenager. Yes, it hit me that hard. But I didn't know that it was the same thing. And I personally will never recommend you experience something like that. I'm happy that I don't have them anymore. But at least we can steal some jewelry. After performing your astral projection, you may feel a little bit self-enclosed. So use this article to explain to someone how to talk to you. How to talk to a shy girl. But I don't think that it depends on the gender. I like the first step here. Don't make assumptions. It might be tempting to think that they have low self-esteem or are boring. Well, how can you even like someone if you think that they're boring? Act natural. They also shouldn't know your thoughts about them. At least pretend that they might be interesting. How to play harmless pranks on your siblings. Oh, that's really nice because I have a sister. I really love her and I hope it's really harmless and fun. Let's see the first one. Squirt your sibling. If you want to become successful, there is an article. How to be a successful teenager. I hope they will teach us how to get those yachts, sport cards and volunteer. Because unpaid labor leads to real money. I know that the real success is not only about money, but this article suggests to travel more, so okay, I guess. How to skip school. I don't think it leads to success, but someone might need it. If you are going to pretend to be sick, tell your parents that you don't feel well a couple of days beforehand. Your sickness will be more believable if your parents see more symptoms before the actual day that you pretend to be ill. I was professionally faking high blood pressure before the tests and it worked. But my schoolmate was some kind of tryhard. So he was just f***ing his pants. Put on a brave face at first, then give in. Mom, my whole body hurts, but I will go to school anyway. Are you sure, honey? Yes, I'm just... <coughs> Pretend not to finish your homework. In the morning, make a big deal about not completing a really important assignment. Act panicked, pretend to cry, and furiously try to finish your work. If your parents see you so upset, they might take a pity on you and let you stay at home to finish your homework. Are you sure it has ever worked? Just imagine how perfect the world would be if it was the thing. Change your parents' alarm while they're sleeping. This is the best way to get your parents fired. How to hold in a poop in embarrassing situations. This is the pure definition of success, because successful people are stress resistant. And in this case, this is a definition of being stress resistant. Try standing up to keep in your poop. Try this only if it's not coming or you won't be able to move very soon. Try to encourage a bowel movement several hours before your event and then stop eating. This could be a good advice, but we are serious people here, so no step back. We are dealing only with our current problems. Distract yourself mentally so you're not focusing on the poop so much. How come this could be good advice? If you're basically avoiding the fact that something is about to fall out of your pants. I've learned so many useful things today. I hope you found out something that you needed too. Don't forget to find your bidet 
wash your cucumbers, and also like, comment, and subscribe. I am a small creator, and it is really important to me. Bye!